I'm so happy to meet you again. Welcome to this new lesson of the English language lessons on Anorba TV. Today, we are going to talk about the present perfect tense using yet and just. أعزائي الطلبة، سنتحدث اليوم عن زمن المضارع التام واستخدام yet and just. Let's start. Present perfect tense. Let's read this sentence. Haney has won the race. Haney has won the race. To understand this sentence, let's move to the timeline. Look at the timeline. Past, now or present, and future. Haney has won the race. The race started in the past, and its result appears in the present. So, the present perfect tense has won connects the past to the present. لقد بدأ السباق في الزمن الماضي ونتائجه ظهرت في الزمن الحاضر فاستخدمنا زمن المضارع التام للربط ما بين الماضي والحاضر Haney has won the race Haney has won the race Let's continue Let's read about Mr. Tarabich's restaurant and find the verse سنقرأ قطعة عن السيد ترابيشي ومطعمه الذي افتتحه مؤخرا ونجد الأفعال في هذه القطعة My restaurant is in a traditional house It is very old We've worked very hard. We haven't finished everything yet, but we have done a lot. We've fixed the roof. We've also changed the windows. We've bought tables and chairs for the dining room, and we've built a modern kitchen. Let's find the verbs in this passage. The first sentence. We've worked very hard. We've worked very hard. We have, we make it shorter and said, We've, we've worked. The next one. We haven't finished everything. We haven't finished everything. We haven't done a lot. We haven't done a lot. We've also changed the windows. We've also changed the windows. Let's continue. We fixed the roof. We fixed the roof. We've bought tables. Also here, we've, we have, we make it shorter and said, we've. We've bought tables. We've built a modern kitchen. All the previous verbs are in the present perfect tense. Now, let's talk about the use of the present perfect tense. We use this tense when we talk about something started in the past, which hasn't finished yet, or still has an effect in the present. نستخدم هذا الزمن للتعبير عن شيء حدث في الزمن الماضي ولم ينتهي بعد أو ما زال له تأثير في الزمن الحاضر. Let's move to a sentence. I have been to the market. I have been to the market. The main verb being with the helping verb have form the present perfect tense. Another one. He has watered the plants. He has watered the plants. The main verb watered with the helping verb has form the present perfect tense. Now, let's talk in details about the forming of the present perfect tense. To form the present perfect tense, the helping verb have or has plus past participle or the third form of the verb. Past participle, التصريف الثالث للفعل. لدينا نوعين من الأفعال. الأفعال النظامية والأفعال الغير نظامية. نحصل على التصريف الثالث من الأفعال النظامية بإضافة فقط إيد للفعل. أما الأفعال الغير نظامية فممكن أن يؤدي التصريف الثالث لتغيير شكلها أو قراءتها أو كتابتها. Let's continue. I, you, we, they plus have plus past participle. I have, you have, we have, and they have. And with the third person pronouns, he, she, at plus has plus past participle. He has. She has and it has. Now let's practice. Correct. Now you should correct the verbs between the brackets. I've eat a biscuit. I've eat a biscuit. The past participle of the verb eat. Eaten is very good. It's a regular verb. I've eaten a biscuit. I've eaten a biscuit. Now let's move to the next one. 
They have paint the walls. They have paint the walls. Paint is regular verb. فعل نظامي. We just add ed. They have painted the walls. They have painted the walls. Let's continue. What have you bring into class today? What have you bring? What's the past participle of the verb bring? Yes, brought. What have you brought into class today? What have you brought into class today? Let's continue. Mom has prepared me a sandwich. What's the past participle of the verb prepare? Very good, prepared. Mom has prepared me a sandwich. Mom has prepared me a sandwich. We usually use just with the present perfect tense. Let's talk about the using of just. Look at Dana. Dana has just finished the painting. Dana has just finished the painting. Let's move to the timeline. Dana has just, just finished the painting. Just means it happened a short time ago. Just means it happened a short time ago. أي أنه انتهى الفعل للتو. Dana has just finished the painting. Let's continue. Just is usually used with the present perfect. Just means it happened a short time ago. إذن تستخدم just مع زمن المضارع التام وهي للتعبير عن حدث انتهى للتو. Let's continue. Just comes between the auxiliary verb have or has and the past participle. سنتحدث عن موقع just في الجملة. They have just finished the race. Where's it just? Yes. It comes between the helping verb have and the main verb finished. Have just finished. Have just finished. Let's move to another example. Look at Fadi. Fadi has just planted a tree. Fadi has just planted a tree. Just comes between the helping verb has and the main verb planted. Let's continue. Just is used in affirmative sentences. تستخدم just مع الجمل المثبتة وليس الجمل المنفية. Example. I have just seen Suzanne coming out of the cinema. Look at Lean. Lean has just done her homework. Lean has just done her homework. Now, let's stop here and have a short break. We'll be back with extra practice. Let's practice. Make sentences say what has just happened. Look at this boy. What has just happened? What has just happened? We should use the verb start. The boy, we refer to the boy. He, yes, very good. He has or have? He has started. We should use just. Just comes between the helping verb and the main verb. He has just started. He has just started his homework. He has just started his homework. Let's continue. Look at this lady. What has just happened? What has just happened? We should use the verb finish. The lady, she has or have? Has, yes, very good. She has finished. We should use just just she has just finished she has just finished her meal she has just finished her meal look at this girl we should use the verb wash what has just happened she has washed she has washed where is it just very good just comes between the helping verb and the main verb she has just washed her hair she has just washed her hair. Let's continue. Look at this boy. We should use the verb brush. He has or have? Has brushed. Yes, very good. 
He has a brushed. Where is just? Very good. Between the helping verb and the main verb. He has a just brushed his teeth. He has a just brushed his teeth. Look at this man. We should use the verb pant. The man has or have? Has is very good. Has pented. The man has pented. Where is just? Very good. Comes between the helping verb and the main verb. The man has just painted the door. The man has just painted the door. Now, let's talk about using yet in the present perfect. The first use of yet, yet is used in questions. Yet is used in questions. Look at Omar. Has Omar done his homework yet? Has Omar done his homework yet? We expect him to do his homework. Has Omar done his homework yet? Look at the helping verb has comes before the noun. We start the question with has and we end the question with yet. Has Omar done his homework yet? Another example. Look at these children. Have the children tidied their room yet? Have. The helping verb comes before the noun, the children. Have the children tidied their room yet? And also here, we finish the question with yet. Look at this mother. Has the mother washed the dishes yet? Has the mother washed the dishes yet? Also, remember, has comes before the noun. Look at this family. Have they traveled yet? Have they traveled yet? Let's practice. Ask questions about the pictures. Ask questions about the pictures. Look at this family and we should use the verb arrive. First of all, we should start the question with the helping verb have or has. For this family, we should use very good, have. Have they arrived? Have they arrived Damascus yet? Have they arrived Damascus yet? Let's move to the next. Look at this lady and we should use the verb finish. For this lady, we should use have or has. Very good, has. Has she finished? Has she finished her meal yet? Has she finished her meal yet? We start the question with the helping verb has and we end the question with yet. Another one, look at the children and we should use the verb water. For the children, two, we should use have or has, very good. Have they watered the plants yet? Have they watered the plants yet? Another one. Look at this family and we should use the verb visit. Have they visited their friends yet? Have they visited their friends yet? Have comes before the subject pronoun. Have they? Have they visited their friends yet? Another use of yet. Yet is used in negative sentences. تستخدم yet مع الجمل المنفية. Omar hasn't cleaned his bedroom yet. Has not. We make it shorter. Hasn't. Okay? Omar hasn't cleaned his bedroom yet. Yet comes with the negative sentences. Hasn't yet. Hasn't yet. Omar hasn't cleaned his bedroom yet. Another one. Rami hasn't cleaned the board yet. Also here, has not, we make it shorter, hasn't. Yet comes with negative sentences. Hasn't yet. Rami hasn't cleaned the board yet. Now, let's revive the uses of yet. Yet is used in questions. تستخدم yet مع الأسئلة. Yet is used in negative sentences. أيضا yet تستخدم مع الجمل المنفية. Yet usually comes at the end of the sentence. Yet usually comes at the end of the sentence. تأتي yet في نهاية الجمل. 
Yet is used to talk about something which is expected to happen. It means at any time up to now. تستخدم يات للتحدث عن شيء متوقع حدوثه. لما hasn't done her homework yet. She intended to do her homework and we expect her homework soon. So, Lama hasn't done her homework yet. Let's stop here and have a short break. Welcome back. Let's practice. Look and write a sentence use yet. Look at the girl. Water the plants. Water the plants. You're free to choose your noun or pronoun, but you should use these sentences in negative because you should use yet. So, I have or has haven't yes very good i haven't watered i haven't watered the plants yet i haven't watered the plants yet لاحظوا اعزائي الطلبه عندما نستخدم yet يجب ان تكون الجمله بصيغه منفيه haven't haven't yet i haven't watered the plants yet let's continue you got this girl finish her homework finish her homework also here we should use negative sentence she have or has very good has in negative form hasn't she hasn't finished she hasn't finished her homework yet very good she hasn't finished her homework yet she hasn't finished her homework yet to use yet we should use negative form visit grandma Visit grandma. They have or has have very good. With the negative form, haven't, have not. They haven't visited grandma yet. They haven't visited grandma yet. Aina jaat yet? Ahsantum fi nihayat ajumla. Look at this wall. Build a garden wall. Build the garden wall. We have or has very good have. We haven't built. We haven't built a garden wall yet. We haven't built a garden wall yet. Let's move to a new activity. Look and try the answers as full sentences. Look at this family. Have they finished their shopping yet? Have they finished their shopping yet? And the answer should be yes. Yes, they have just. We use just with affirmative sentences. Yes, they have just finished their shopping. Yes, they have just finished their shopping. Also, just comes between the helping verb and the main verb. Let's continue. Have they arrived their home yet? Have they arrived their home yet? لاحظوا استخدمنا yet مع الأسئلة. Have they arrived their home yet? And the answer should be no. No, they haven't arrived their home yet. جاءت yet مع الجمل المنفية. No, they haven't arrived their home yet. Now, let's move to another activity. Choose the correct answer. Choose the correct answer. The first one, look at these children. I have talked on the phone. I have talked on the phone. Look at the space. It's between the helping verb and the main verb. And the sentence is an affirmative. جاء الفراغ ما بين الفعل المساعد والفعل الأساسي والجملة ليست منفية. We should use just or yet. Very good. Just. I have just talked on the phone. I have just talked on the phone. Another one. Tala hasn't done her homework. Tala hasn't done her homework. 
The space comes at the end of the sentence and the sentence is negative. What should we use? Very good, yet. Tala hasn't done her homework yet. The last one, look at Dana. Has Dana eaten her meal? Has Dana eaten her meal? Look, it's a question. Yet or just? Very good, yet. Has Dana eaten her meal yet? Has Dana eaten her meal yet? Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy it and get benefit. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.